So in all of my playthroughs of Cyberpunk 2077, there's no other character that I love abusing more than none other than Adam Smasher. He kind of became a regular right here on this channel. We abused him in all sorts of ways in one of the previous videos. We even managed to bring his untimely demise as early as the heist mission and this spawned a ton of questions from you guys. Especially so what happens with the model if you kill him in the heist mission but then continue to finish the game and go up until until the very end of the last story mission and we did that I actually went ahead and completed another playthrough just to test all of this out you're gonna have some timestamps down below by the way if you want to just jump directly to that section so you can skip however much you want of this video but there's a ton of other tests that I've also conducted on the way one such test was also in the taxi Delamain chase scene like usually if you take him down before the scene um, he isn't going to spawn there anymore and instead the animation plays without his model ever being physically present over there it just happens as if he were invisible but in one of these footages we were able to actually not only just get him in the scene but also be fully animated with his broken body so full in shambles things dripping out of him and of course one of his hands completely missing now there is actually a way to take him down way earlier than that and you can do it the legit way by the way you can even do this I believe um, on the consoles it's basically during the scene where you have to steal um, yeah that box from your Inobu's apartment which contains the relic so right here as we're headed back to the elevator T-Bug informs us that somebody is coming back up to the apartment and normally we would go in this pillar right here hide and just witness what's about to happen in the next scene but instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and wait up for a couple of minutes because if we do that this is going to be the earliest way to encounter him one on one in the early stages of the game. The thing is that I have about 5000 armor right here, I'm level 50 and he still managed to one shot me with one single bullet graze, like that's really crazy. And yeah, this is the animation that usually plays, he comes in, he stomps on your head, point at which you failed the mission. Now the thing about this is that no matter what you do, you can't use your guns, you can't do anything, you can't shoot him, you can't fight back using melee attacks, it's as if the game wants you to fail. Even if we hide behind this pillar or wall right here, he is probably, yeah, he's just gonna charge in and he one shots me again. So this, at this point, we managed to find out that, yeah, this is probably hard coded to only be a one-way street as in you can't really avoid either dying or just having to hide from him but there is one thing that the game can control and that is your cyberware so what I'm gonna do in this test is I'm going to wait for him to come at the top and instead use my quick hex so I'm going to go over yeah let's just go with the short circuit and he should get some damage right here Actually, scratch that, he got the full blast of the short circuit, so I wasn't expecting this, but he did get one-shotted, which means that I can collect the item card from him, which unfortunately still plays the death animation. If you still do this, a few seconds later, you're still going to die because the game is hard-coded to kill you at this stage. So all of these failed up until now, there's one more thing that we should test, and that is what happens if you take him down with only a small level of the short circuit and a build that instead of one shotting him only brings him down to about half HP so in this case again we had a full-on success this was the only way to fully avoid the death animation that happens when you encounter Adam Smasher this is the only time when Adam Smasher doesn't one shot you despite the fact that he might be dead so in this case as you can see he can still move a little bit he can still use his arm attack but he isn't going to be able to shoot at you anymore since his weapons are down and he's also kind of stuck in place which fully prevented that death animation from happening altogether which kind of brings us to the next problem even if you do this even if you survive this encounter you're gonna be stuck in this mission forever unless you have a save file before this because well surprise surprise your prompt to enter the pillar completely disappears once Adam Smasher opens up the elevator doors and makes his way in the apartment as soon as that happens you cannot enter the elevator anymore and if you think about it it makes sense from a story point of view even though I kinda hate the outcome and that is because the rest of the story from this point on fully depends on the fact that you were a witness in Soburo's death at the hand of his um, his son so 
basically this is something that um, is even heavily brought up at the very end of the main story campaign and even like throughout other missions in the game so it's unavoidable you cannot skip this no matter what you do the only thing you could probably do is to maybe trigger going inside of that pillar even with a dead Adam smasher but instead what we did is again as I've said we killed Adam after that scene so after exiting the apartment right before the escape in the Della main taxi so in this playthrough right here he is completely dead and yeah just to test things out we even have his access token right here well i have two of them for some reason i think that from all of the testing we got two but these are all to his hidden stash in north side which kind of brings me to the next question and that is well why would you even need the access token since you can enter that room really easily without even needing one and the reason for that as i've said in the previous video is not to access the room itself it's to actually access the briefcase that gives you that crafting spec for the legendary shotgun and probably the best shotgun in the game so that's the only reason for that and uh, yeah we went ahead we play tested this a little bit more we did the mission this is the arasaka ending by the way and this was the scene where you get to encounter adam smasher And yeah, unfortunately, as you can see, myth is pretty much busted and I think that this should also answer all of your questions. Unfortunately, Adam Smasher, no matter what happens in the beginning of the game, no matter if you kill his body or not, is going to be fully regenerated at the end of the main game, even if you progressed past that point. The reason for this is pretty simple and it's probably going to have to do with the fact that all of these quests up until the end point simply utilize the base model of Adam Smasher before having any of its parts being broken. So no matter what you do, um, it is going to spawn the same thing in different missions. If it is within the same mission like how it was for example in the beginning of the heist where we did manage to spawn his broken body, that was in the same mission which used the same body but if you go in different ones it's going to just refresh it as if nothing happened which again unfortunate but yeah as we've tested it also gave me that um, access token again so now I have three tokens and this also means that no matter how many times you kill him in no matter how many missions he is going to give you um, the same token every single damn time so pretty unfortunate I kind of wish that we were able to take him down but it also makes sense again Again, from a story point of view and from the fact that simply put at that stage in the story V isn't technically ready to take on Adam Smasher which is pretty much a living legend while you are just a, um, a sewer rat a nobody either somebody from the streets or maybe a corporate rat but you're essentially nobody at this stage in the main story so if you're mad about that this is pretty much how CDPR intended to tell the story if you want to make choices there's other ways to do that but yeah i'm happy to answer these questions thanks so much for watching if there's anything more you want to discuss i'm just gonna leave the answers down below because i'm pretty sick of testing things out from the beginning all the way up until the end but thank you so much for watching again and see you next time